We're also following breaking news in the south part of Durham. Page Road still closed around Comstock Road after an overnight crash. Brett Neese is there in the WRL Breaking News Tracker with new information just in the past few minutes. Brett. Yeah, Brian, a sad update. We now know that this is a deadly crash here along Page Road. It's been shut down for over four hours now while investigators work to piece this all together. I'm going to step behind the camera and show you a little bit of what happened here overnight. The tow truck is you're on scene now, but uh, as we zoom in, you're going to see the car that is overturned there in the background. But take a look at this tree here. There's a lot of debris right there next to it, and you can see some damage to the base of that tree. It appears that that car somehow went off the side of the road, lost control, hit that tree before flipping multiple times and then landing where it did. Take a look at this. This is video from the WRL breaking news tracker from overnight. I know that several people were taken to the hospital by ambulance shortly after this happened. And now we do know that at least one person is dead. We're working to confirm exactly how many people were inside that car overnight. We're also working to confirm uh, from police uh, if speed was a factor or if any other factors played a role in this deadly crash. As soon as we get an update from police on those details, we're going to pass that along. But it appears right now, Brian, that uh, Page Road is going to be shut down for at least the next 30 minutes or so. The tow truck here right now. But how can people get around this in the meantime? Uh, let's take a look at that alternate route right now, Brett, on our map. Using Miami Boulevard and Chin Page Road, you should be able to get to Page Road on the other side of that closure, which is at Comstock, just north of I-40. Uh, taking a look at the sensors there along Miami and Chin Page Road, I'm not seeing any big delays.